Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in. My name is Brian, and welcome to an unexpected video. Um, as teasers die off, and as the excitement grows even smaller now for the relaunch, um, I thought that I would return to give you guys something. Um, and you guys know I love lists, so I am here to do some lists for you. Um, obviously we're going into the new year, and I thought I'd just keep it lazier only because I don't really want to do like a video video, and hopefully this audio is not too bad. Um, it might be a little bit weird, but in general, um, I'm pretty sure that you will be expecting a lot more news in the new year. I'm just going to leave it at that, but right now I'm going to be doing my top 50 singles or promotional tracks, whatever you call, of 2016. Obviously, I didn't listen to everything, but please, if you have your own list, please leave it below, and I'm going to warn you right now, if something is mispronounced, if some reason I cannot say a name or whatever you can leave your hate in the comments and uh yeah so like I said first half is going to be kind of quick second half I'm probably going to do a little bit more detail but without further ado let's just get into this so at number 50 we got No Limit Usher featuring Young Thug at 49 we got Drunk Drivers Killer Whales Carsey Headrest 48 we got Broccoli Dram featuring Little Yachty 47, Jesus Alone, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Number 46, we got Dang, Mac Miller featuring Anderson Pack. 45, we got Day Ones, Bauer featuring Novelist and Leaky Lee. 47, and coming in at number 44 is Kiss It Better by Rihanna. And 43, we got another pop star right now, Into You by Ariana Grande. At number 42, we got Waste a Moment by Kings of Leon. And at number 41, we got the great collaboration from Mick Jenkins and Bad Bad Not Good. Drowning, fantastic track. Grew on me a lot. Didn't like it at first, ironically, but it grew on me a hell of a lot. At number 40, we got the return of emo group American Football with I've Been So Lost for So Long. At 39, we get the pop rap track Devastated by Joey Badass. 38, we got Air em Out. From Clipping, the return of Clipping. At 37, we got the late and great David Bowie with I Can't Give Everything Away. I'm really upset that some of the songs on this new album were mostly released last year. And this was the final single single he released this year. So, very sad. Number 36, we got Wedding Singer by Modern Baseball. And at number 35, we got Formation, Beyonce. 34, Nikes, Frank Goshen. And at number 33, we got a great rap song off of a rap album I wasn't too fond of, and that is Groovy Tony by Schoolboy Q. Love the beat. Just love his delivery. It's just great. Just Schoolboy Q really delivered on this track. Number 32, I have to say it's the best part of the Suicide Squad movie, which is Heathens by 21 Pilots. It's a great track. I legitimately love this track, and I'm not really a huge 21 Pilots fan, but I think this song is really great. At number 31, we got Palm Dreams by Touche Amore. Probably said that wrong, so please hate me in the comments. But if I did say it right, thank you, because this track is great. At number 30, we got Mexican Chef by Zena Rubinos. 29, we got Body Moves by DNCE. Joe Jonas leading that there. 28, we got Come Down Once Again by Anderson Peck. Number 27, we got a song from a movie soundtrack, Drive It Like You Stole It. Sing Street, I guess I'm going to consider it because the band is Sing Street. Fantastic movie and fantastic song. And at number 26, we get the great moody track Starboy, The Weeknd featuring Daft Punk. The Weeknd just knows how to deliver on really great sounds and just great energy and mood. And this track really did it. So here we go now. So at number 25, we get probably one of the most dope rap songs about a cat ever which is Kirby by Aesop Rock from his new album, The Impossible Kid. Fantastic track. Catchy, weird and experimental, but, you know, Aesop Rock just completely delivered on the track. Number 24, we got the return of the pop punk prince, Jeff Rosenstock, with Wave Goodnight to Me. I loved his last record, you guys know, from last year, and this song was great. It had a different energy, but it still was Jeff Rosenstock, great lyrics, and off of a great album as well. And I love the guitar leads, especially on this track. Fantastic. Number 23, we got You Ain't Got No Problem, Got No Problem With Me. Gaga! 
Don't do that again, Brian. But that's Chance the Rapper featuring 2 Chains and Lil Wayne. Again, a track from an album I wasn't too high on this year. Um, and really the track I didn't love that much when it first came out, but now hearing it constantly, I've really grown to like it. And I think all three of them show up really well, and I think the beat's great, and I think it's a very energetic and uplifting track. So I love it. 22, we got the R&B-styled Childish Gambino this time around with Redbone. Me and Your Mama was a fantastic track, but I think I love it in sort of the build-up to the rest of the album. Redbone is just smooth and sexy and just seductive, and Gambino works that track, and it was such a change of pace, and it's, oh my god, it's so great. That song is fantastic. His range on it, too, incredible. 21 is a song that I know a lot of people cringe and groan at, but I really love the track. And that's Bored to Death by Blink-182. You guys know I'm a sucker for Blink-182. This track got me so excited to listen to their album. And I think it's a lot of classic Blink flavors in it. And I don't know. I have really nothing else to say about it. I like the track. Sorry, guys. And number 20, we got Legend Has It with Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels, once again, is just, you know, anything they put out is crazy, you know? But it kind of made me nervous leading up to their new album because the couple tracks we heard were fine. But hearing this track, this is what made me go, no, 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 no. We have to be excited for their new album. So definitely a fantastic rap track. And number 19, we got Pup with If This Tour Doesn't Kill You, I Will, which also wins probably the best title of the year award. Pup was a band that I didn't really know too much about. I heard that they were sort of connected with Jeff Rosenstock and, you know, AJJ and, or, you know, Andrew Jackson, Jihad. And so when I listened to them, I just fell in love. And this track is a great way to open the album. And I love the energy and I love the, the self-deprecating lyrics. And it's just fantastic. It's such a great tune. At number 18, we got Shut Up, Kiss Me, Hold Me Tight by Angel Olsen. I really can't say anything about this track other than it's awesome, and Angel Olsen is the bae, and this song just kicks ass. At number 17, we got uh, <clears throat> Fur de Squaw by Isaiah Rashad. Um, again, TDE kind of let me down this year. I don't know why I was not a fond of really a lot of these TDE projects, this song's fantastic. It's smooth. I think Isaiah does a great job on it. I think he does a lot with a little, and it's just way too great. And I think it was a really solid way to open this album up. So it was fantastic, and I still love the track. 16, we got Time of the Blue, The Tallest Man on Earth. Um, returning sort of after his crazy, not experimental, but different sound on his last album with more instruments. And he goes simpler. Even though it, you know, it's stripped back a little bit, but it still kind of has interesting elements of production y styles. But that's more of just like the voice and sort of the way it's put together, but it's still gorgeous. And I cannot wait for his new record whenever it does come out. 15, we got the return of famed rock and roll group Red Hot Chili Peppers with the first record off their new album, which was Dark Necessities. And. This track was very different for them, but I think it worked. I love the piano leads. I think the, you know, the bass and guitar was great. And this was a track that made me so much more excited for this album than their last album, you know, back in 2011. So, and it's still a great song. So, number 14, we got the interesting experimental track from Bon Iver, which is 22 over soon. When this track first came out, I was so thrown off and... You know, I did not know what to think of this track, and Bon Iver did something really crazy with his new album, and, you know, I know it was very divisive, and I know a lot of people think it's just dumb, and which is fine, but this song is beautiful. I think his vocals are great, and I love sort of the interesting samplings in there, so it's phenomenal. 13, We the People, A Tribe Called Quest, not much to be said, classic hip-hop group, great song, it's everything about it, the beat, the lyrics, it's, you know, everything's just fantastic, shout out to Fife, rest in peace, number 12, we get probably one of the best mainstream songs, 24 Carry Magic by Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars has never really been somebody I liked at all, 
And this song, when it first dropped, I instantly went bananas because this song I think is fantastic. And I love the production and I love his swagger and just the attitude. And it's just old school, kind of James Brownish inspired. It's just fantastic and I love it. Number 11, we also get kind of a nice, fun, bubbly song, which is Life Itself by Glass Animals. I love the production. I love just the great beat and all of the different drums on it. It's it's a great song. And I think the the build up to the chorus is great and just it's fantastic. So great track. We're in the top ten now, guys, and number ten. He was a man that started this year off strong and you know, we obviously went on to think certain things maybe of his newest album, but I think this track still holds up from that album and that is Real Friends by Mr. West. Mr. Kanye West featuring Ty Dolla Sign. You know, obviously, I think a lot of people might be putting Ultra Light Beam or, you know, even No More Parties in LA, which I can understand, but this track was the first one to drop and it was real at the time and it kind of got me in a lot of ways. And so I was definitely on board for this song and I loved it. It was great. So definitely a fantastic track off that album. Number nine was a track from a band that I wasn't even looking forward to, honestly. Um, Obviously, they had some difficulties with the name change, but they ended up making a very interesting album. And this song was one of the best ones on it, which was Degraded from Preoccupations. Obviously, formerly Viet Cong, but I wasn't, I listened to their old record maybe once or twice, and I just was not into it. But this new change of pace was just great and i loved it so much so good job preoccupations and number eight singer songwriter mark kozlek returns under sun kill moon with god bless ohio i don't really think you need to say anything more than that um it's mark kozlek singer songwriter his long gated songs with his storytelling it's always incredible and i just can't wait to hear what the rest of the album is and so this song's a great starter for that Number seven, I Need a Forest Fire, James Blake featuring Bonnie Bear. Um, I remember first hearing this song when it was dropped, I think, on Annie Mac on BBC. And, you know, obviously James Blake was someone I was looking forward to because he was somebody that we haven't heard from in a bit. And, and there's just something that's interesting about this song that just makes me come back to it. I love the ethereal surrounding it and like the sound and it's beautiful it's haunting it's emotional and I think the two of them really add so much to the track and I just love it it's incredible so great number six we get the return of Radiohead with Burn the Witch this track I fell in love when I first heard it and I have not not loved it all year. I love the strings. I love the operatic elements. It's haunting. It's creepy. It's insane. The ending is just in insanity. And I just love like it's it was such a different approach from what we've been getting from especially Tom York over the years, but the last Radiohead project. So and it went on to make a great record as well and I was very impressed with the song, and a lot of it's very simple, but it's it's very effective, and Tom just sounds great on it, too. Number five, we get the return of pop punk heroes from Canada, near to the wild heart of life, Japan Droids. I'm really upset their new album isn't out this year. It's okay, we'll get it next month, but at the end of the day, interesting return. I think it's it's what you expected from their last album especially, but it's kind of going in a more different direction. Their structure and, you know, I think a lot of people might listen to this band and be like rolling their eyes like, oh my god, this is a group that like people love and blah, blah, blah. But it's just, I can't help it. I think, I just love it so much and I think they did a great job on the song and I just can't wait to hear the rest of their album. But I know a band that made a lot of people happy this year and that's at number four with King of the World by Weezer this was just difficult because this or LA Girls could easily have been on this list but King of the World is great I love just it's just so electric and just the energy and just the songwriting especially 
Rivers did such a great job, and that that record is great as well, but this song was just fantastic, and I just cannot stop listening to it. But if we want to continue on our pop-punk or alt-punk whatever phase, we get to number three, which was Rest in Peace by Yellow Card, which was the first track to be released, and when I sort of... When a lot of the things before this album... I kind of suspected this was going to be their last, but then until it was officially announced, it made me more upset. But, you know, we're here now, and it's depressing, but, you know, it took me a while to kind of at least get into it, because there are certain lyrical parts of it that kind of are like, okay, but I love the structure of the song. I think it was such a great moving forward from what their last record was and I think it was still what you know of them but it was moving forward as well so I think it was very great of them to do that number two is probably easily one of if not my favorite rap song of the year the experimental and the just insane bonkers when it rain by Danny Brown Oh my god, this song I think is absolute perfection. I think the beat is perfect. I think Danny just sounds great. I think his lyrics are just... This track just kind of threw me off when I first heard it. Not because, oh, well, Danny Brown, but especially coming off of that last record. And Danny just kind of just came through with a song that just was bananas, which led on to have a bananas album. So I it makes sense, but just such a dope track still but at number one this is a band that kind of in a weird way has always been liked for singles at least on my end they've been up and down and up and down and they finally released a record this year that I really loved and I think they finally made like they finally took advantage of that and made it something but what's very interesting about the whole thing is when doing this list as it sort of came up it was just the song that I've kind of listened to a lot and thought about and you know it's it's really what their first two records are put into a song it's you know bouncy but it's also heavy and kind of like atmospheric and I think obviously vocally and musically it's just so great and well put together and it's in my opinion one of the better indie tracks of the year and it's it I just could not stop listening to it and I think it's still a fantastic song and I love everything about it and that is something to believe in by Young the Giant. Yeah, Young the Giant, number one BBs, you did it. But now that my list is done, what do you guys think of the list? Do you have any disagreements? What are some of your favorite singles and whatever of the year? Leave it all in the comments below. Um, I'm going to have two more lists, and like I said, I'm really excited to sort of explain everything after this, but for now, I'm giving you guys some lists, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, look for the albums one soon, and look for the movies one soon after that, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this low-grade video, and my name is Brian, and peace out, guys.